Good evening modeling community. This is Tommy with Colonel Reb Scale Models, the new name for my web channel that was formerly Totter8770. Um, just giving you an update, it's been a while since I posted that last video. It's just been hectic around the house with family and all kind of stuff going on. I haven't even been able to touch the models in two months probably. Anyway, uh, I finally was able to move from my dining room table. I uh, had to get that cleared off when family was coming and moved into what is actually a hall closet. So it's a little tight. Got stuff still in storage down there. There's still stuff downstairs I haven't even moved up. But I just basically threw a shelf in here, um, threw my stuff on the, the counter, just the basic stuff and still trying to get things organized before I get started working on anything. And then I got a couple of shelves. I don't know if you can see that. I put that one in. Um, this one was already there. And what you see is just a lit, uh, you know, most of all my kits that I have. Some started, like the Dino Spider. Um, it started, it's almost, the chassis and stuff is pretty much finished. Um, I've had it for ever. And uh, got to do some repairs on some of the body piece of the body work and then also some of the interior pieces um, so I'm hoping to get going on that one eventually uh, some of the other kits that you see I have a mix of armor a mix of obviously cars which I kind of prefer although you know I kind of like both um, and that's actually this is a little uh, actually it's a plastic slash metal uh, Volkswagen bus that my son found one day at the lake. Uh, we were at the beach and he found it, so I kind of cleaned it up some, paint it and and touch it up a little bit to give it back to him. It's kind of kind of some stuff on it. I don't even know what to describe it as. Um, and then here's some more car kits, uh, a mix of everything: race car kits, uh, muscle cars, sports cars. You know, whether it be foreign, domestic, you know, hot rods. Uh, some military, so I like the World War II stuff. Um, the Tomahawk being my favorite plane since I was a kid, drawing pictures of it. I think the Shark Mouth and the uh, the story of the Flying Tigers. I have probably six or seven Flying Tiger books and pictures of some of the crew and things like that. Uh, some of the pilots' autographs and things. Uh, and then there's the Big Bismarck. You know, it's a huge kit. I can't remember where I got it from. And then there, this is actually a some type of German submarine with a I got it because it's got the interior that you can build so I thought that was really cool so I got that and then a couple of Stukas which I like the, the Stuka and uh, I like uh, I'm a Porsche fan so I have several Porsche kits uh, big or small and then I have literally about a hundred military both armor and plane kits from World War II that are in in bags downstairs. I just don't have the room to put them here because most of them I've taken out of the boxes and stuff and just have them in individual bags. So hoping to get this put together, put some little shelves up to get some of the stuff off the bench and then start working on these cars. I gotta get my dad's the Impala there. I gotta finish the body work on it so I can get it painted and get it finished for him. The, the Impala that I'm turning into a Biscayne. Uh, I got the Viper here that that uh, you can't really see because of the backlight. Um, but I got it painted, turned out pretty good. I think I showed it in one of the other videos so I can get it, get the interior done on it. Um, this is a kind of a mix match of stuff. I got the uh, 57 uh, funny car. I got a Spitfire in there that, that I had built many years ago and it's in pieces. I want to put it back together and redo the paint scheme on it. Um, I got a Stuka that's the same. I think it's the one right up there. That was probably the first model kit that I started when I got back into it in the teen years. I'm going to get it finished. And then the 64 uh, Galaxy 500 XL from my mom and dad. i got to get it finished. So a lot of work to do. I want to get that done. Get this bench set up to where I can get started working on those. I'm going to try to get one of those. Either the Biscayne or the uh, Galaxy finished for my dad before we go back to... Uh, visit for Thanksgiving so he's doing much better he's getting around actually walking around um, whereas without the walker and stuff so he's doing better although he may have to go back in and have another stint put in uh, we found out today so 
I'm going to get that done before we see him again. So, anyway, signing off. I don't want to make these videos too long. And uh, we'll see you out there soon. So, keep building. I've enjoyed watching all these the uh, group builds of the of the uh, box stock. I thought that was really cool. And then um, looking for, I always like the 48 hour builds, watching those come together. And then some of the group builds of, of some of the military stuff. So, anyway, been watching a lot of videos. Had a chance to do that as opposed to being able to actually sit down and do work here in the uh, on my own kit. So anyway, signing off. See you later.